It's that Friday feeling. Oh yeah, finally we've come back again to that Friday. For a lot of us that means Saturday, Sunday, good times. Even a Friday night. But it had to be careful on the Friday night because Saturday then you got a hangover. Let's get to it. Alrighty then. Yes, we are up close and personal. Yes, we are. Why are we up close and per up close and personal? Put your teeth back in. There you go. I've got my teeth back in. <laughs> okay, we should do a quick video today. The reason is, um, I, I the camera. I've really got to try and sort a tripod thing going on over the over this desk. That's that's going to make it easy for me to show you guys. Um, now this is part of the electronics that's going to go into the uh, uh, intruder A six E. Um, and I was I was hoping to do the whole plane today, um, but that's not going to happen, unfortunately. So I thought I'd do a quick video of something that I found and I was looking for. So I've got my um, um, receiver, uh, trans uh, yes receiver, which is the S8R because I want them extra channels. Uh, and that's just got my power going in here. And this is what I want to talk to you about today, which is the electronic switch. Now I'm going to see if I can get that in focus. And um, the light's a bit funny where I am, but you should be set electronic switch and. There's the electronics. Um, so one end that goes into one of your channels, which is channel eight, and the other end's going into my, um, which is the GT Power, um, the GT Power LED. You know, we, you've seen it before in the previous, I think the live channel. Um, so we've got like flashies and, and also different lights. And this is a little preview. Well, I think I've shown it before actually, so it's not. This, is the, this goes on the front landing gear of the A6. Um, it didn't have a light, but there's a light that sits there, so I'm going to use that as my test. Now, um, I've got two of these switches. Now, the, what these switches do is that you can put it in the channel, and then when you put it um, at a percentage um, on the switch, it set, lets voltage flow through, and then the lights come on. Um, so I've got two of these. Um, one, I've got to test it with the landing gear, but I think I still need to put this on an extra channel. Hence the eight channels. That's the only problem at the moment. But I didn't know these existed. I'll put a link where you get them. You can get them. I think it's from Orange RX. Um, I'm sure you can get them somewhere else. But I didn't know they existed. I was Googling, you know, sort of receiver switch. And boom. And they are cheap as chips. Um, and they do exactly what I want them to do. Because I don't want the landing lights or the navigation lights to be on all the time on the flight. Um, so with two switches, I can turn on my navigation lights. Um, and then I can turn on the uh, landing gear light, which is this one, at the same time the landing gear comes down. So when the landing gear goes up, that switches on. Now, the, what I wanted to show you is like, wow, Chris, you could just do a video just showing us a PCB board. No, 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 no. The reason I wanted to show you now, obviously I'm gonna be using my FR Sky X10. Um, I have turned it on, so she should be, uh, I haven't turned the battery on. So let me just turn the battery on. And there you go. Telemetry recovered. Yeah, there she goes. Bless her heart. Telemetry recovered. Now I've put this on channel eight. Um, you can sh you can see that. That's good. I'm happy with that. Okay. Oh no. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, here we go. God, sort it out, Chris. All right. That should be able to see. You should be. I don't think I can zoom in any. Look, no, no. I'm all. In fact, I could just go a bit without just getting too much shadow. Oh yeah, we're getting close. Okay, my screen times out way too quick, but that was me. Right, you should be able to see that. If I get something little under there. Oh, perfect hole. So, we've got this all hooked up to our receiver that's in shot now. Hello. Then we go to our... Now, I'm only going to this because this, will be, this won't be for um, uh, the landing gear. The landing gear will just go straight to straight to the channel so it gets powered on straight on but I just wanted to show um, uh, it's just easier to show you this way now I, I, I put this on um, which is on the switch here which is uh, SB and as you can see there's not a lot of light there no one's at home yeah hello no one's at home so now this ha this is on as you can see that doesn't look like an A6 <laughs> I've got to put a picture on there don't worry about it. Now this also, this will probably, you've got this function in all radios. It may be called something different, but there is this function. On here, it's called endpoint. Now all basically it says is your travel, um, you should be able to see that. 
Um, if I just lift it up a bit, zoom, 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 zoom. there we go. Okay, I'm going to hold it now. <laughs> so we've got your travel and then your limits. Now that is on every um, every uh, radio. Now what I found is that this this is my switch. So if I go back um, and go to monitor, uh, is my switch. So you can see channel eight there. Or channel five. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Channel eight. There we go. Do the right one. Channel eight going at hundred to hundred. Okay. Now, apparently these switches don't like that. So if you get this switch, this is what you need to do rather than pulling your hair out like I've been doing. And there you go. So you go all the way to channel eight, and you put the travel. It might be different from different radios. So the best thing is to have a light in there. Have to have it on, enter it, then change your travel. There we go. So where does that come on? So that's it. So now at 91, 90, 89, 89. So, you know, it's only for a switch. So put that on 85. So now on here, if, I, if that's going to get in focus for me, there you go. It basically says from minus 100 to 85. So if we go back to our monitoring, oh no that's not our monitoring is it, that's our monitoring. You see channel 8 will only go to 85, so it goes to minus 100, obviously 0 and 85. And there we go, there's our light, it, so you know, I can tell this would be not just on the landing gear, but this would be on the navigation lights. Um, I could set it down on a two, a two switch or something. I could, I've got yet to play about a bit, but I got so excited that I've got this to work that I thought I'd share it with everybody. Um, yeah, on. I don't know why it flashes twice like that. I mean, maybe it'll look good in the air, but uh, that is one bright LED anyway, and that's going to be on the front of the A6. Um, of course, you know, if, if it's the navigation, I mean, we can put it into uh, another, another hole, Mrs. These all do different things. It's not the right LED for this actually, but it doesn't matter. What's that one doing? That's like a that's a pulsing light, so that would be an anti-collision light, no doubt. So this is that little box of tricks. I know you get from free wing and bits and pieces. You can you normally get two boxes with your controller and everything else. But if you haven't got a controller, then these switches do they, they're brilliant. I mean, there's a little light on there that comes on when you turn it on, as you can see. But these are just brilliant. I mean, I, you're probably saying, "Ah, oh, I've seen these before." Well, I haven't. And, you know, as I say, my journey of finding out stuff in RC, um, this is brilliant. Because obviously, if you, you know, if you don't want to put your landing gear lights on, or you don't want to put your navigation lights on, then you don't have to. Not that it pulls much battery anyway, but I just thought that was really cool. Yes, the pain is um, you've got to um, um, put it on another channel. But if the, if the landing gear, which I've got to test... I haven't got a splitter cable um, and I didn't want to start pulling out cables from the A6 but uh, we'll see that when I do the final finish off and and, and, uh, and blow the fans. Um, if that works on 80% 80, 80 uh, the gear comes down then, then happy days um, I can have that on one switch so the landing gear which can be a two position switch landing gear up landing gear down so when your landing gear comes down it turns that on automatically as it comes down um yeah that was it really um I, you know i've got to uh, on the final words um I'm just to speak about a couple of bits and pieces but uh that that's that's it now you have them travels i don't know about the monitoring but i know you have the endpoints on uh um, i think i've got it on x9d it ha does have that these travel limits and the uh, travels and limits so there you go so if you do get one of these switches i'll leave a, a, a thing it's on ebay and amazon i think um um, you know, I'm sure there's other makes as well, but it does what exactly what it says on the tin. It is a switch circuit, and um, yeah, I like it. Well, there you go, another quick video. Well, it's not another one. I've done one of them story things the other day just to see what it was about. Um, but yeah, it's just that I was so excited about finding this little switch that I could connect to my uh, receiver. Um, and control things uh, a flip of a switch I thought I've got to share it with you guys you know I was gonna share it um, in, within a video but I thought well let's just you know someone might be looking like me trying to look for these things and um, up it pops 
Um, yeah, so I, I've seen a lot of people watch this um, uh, from the analytics and you're not subscribing. Please subscribe. You know, I need their numbers to build, to, to build the channel, to build my excitement for you. Don't worry about flying, it's all going to happen next year. Now, next week, which will be the October, no, September the 26th, 2020, <laughs> try and forget this year already, um, it's going to be live. Live on a Saturday. Um, yes, we're still going to have a Friday feeding video, but Saturday we're going live in Dad's RC Hangar. And we've got a giveaway. Yes. Now, I have got a Sky Hunter racer to give away. Yeah. Sent anywhere near in the world. Try to anyway. I tried to send another giveaway not too long ago um, via, um, I just did it while I was at work and of course it's company. And they said, oh, where's your VAT invoice? And sent it back. So I will send this as a present. <laughs> so if you want this Sky Hunter racer, which is just, you know, a little a little throw around, and if it's free, it's always good, then join us next week. Um, um, I think that you're going to have to look on the forums the exact time, um, which is dadsrchanger.co.uk, follow the forums, join the forums, join the chat. Just another forum, yeah, but you know, it's still, you, you never know, you might see something, you might like something, you might learn something, you never know. Um, you know, sort of never, you know, sort of, um, there's never too much information out there. Um, that's, um, that's my motto anyway. Even if, you know, this is why I watch a lot of these channels, you know, even if I think I know something, I'll still watch something because maybe there's something I didn't quite know. Um, that's uh, my motto. Have you subscribed yet? Have you liked yet? Come on, just press them buttons. It helps me. Uh, and helping me is helping you because I'll get a lot more good stuff eventually. Um, and, and better giveaways. You know, I, I want a giveaway because I like to. Um, and I had this, I had this, um, I think come from Banggood when I was all thing, you know, buying loads of other little bits and pieces. And, um, and I thought, well, that'd be really nice to give away, a bit of fun for somebody. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that, that's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, so on Saturday, sorry, so someone's trying to call me, um, um, just, just wait right there, hang on one second. Okay, <laughs> back again. Why do people always call me when I'm making a movie? I don't know. I had to take that call. I was sorry about that. Where was we? Talking about exciting giveaways. Yes, next Saturday. It will probably be around about 5 o'clock UK time. Um, check out the forum. I'll put it on the forum. I'll make another thing saying live. And uh, I'll put the date on there. And if you want to win this, you know, come and win it. Um, what we'll probably be doing is doing a bit of a chit chat and maybe some building on the on the current planes, um, but basically just just a, a chat and you know not for long. We'll probably be here for about an hour. Won't take too much of your time, but why don't you come in and join the fun anyway? I mean the last ones have been pretty cool, so um, not mega mega amounts of people like a lot of channels get, um, but hey, you know we might be able to do something special. So until then, keep safe, keep flying and have fun. And thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya, bye.